Ooh, welcome man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick, guys, I am headed to one of my favorite spots, Brothers Motors, guys. Look what I got, guys. Yes, some parts. This is a oil filter adapter housing, brand new, the latest and greatest OEM. These are the upper and the lower intake uh, plenum seals. Okay, as you know, in order to replace this, the upper plenum have to come off and the lower plenum. So I basically got the seals for the upper and the lower. And guys, one thing of note, um, it's very important to use quality uh, parts such as this. This is an OEM. I want y'all to see that. OEM Mopar parts. And look at the revision, guys. That's AF. AF should be the latest and greatest because I got this part from a dealership. Uh, now, the part, guys, is fairly expensive, guys. Um, close to $300 if you walk off the street and go in and get one. But I want to say this. It's very important, guys. Oh, oh it's very uh, quality. All right, this should be the last oil filter adapter housing you buy for this car. Okay, now they have undergone major revisions. All right, a lot of revisions, in fact, and now they up to this point, and I can say, I mean, you have my word, this is top quality. All right, so I'm almost here, Brothers Motors, guys. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we, I'm, I'm going to deliver these parts for a customer uh, that I actually met uh, off YouTube. Go figure, she actually happens to live in the area and wanted to come back. Now, she had a check engine light, okay? Check engine light P0520. Uh, I think that stands for oil pressure switch circuit, something like that. Uh, during my initial inspection, you know, I, I tend to do a visual inspection on everything. I noticed oil, a puddle of oil down in the galley, guys. So... My thing was, uh, my suggestion to her was, you can kill two birds in one stone. Because keep in mind, guys, it's the same amount, almost the same amount of work to do the oil pressure switch as it is to do the oil filter adapter housing. I mean, if you make it down that far to gain access to the switch, you right there at the oil filter adapter housing. At that point, you have a decision to make. Do you just merely replace the switch or the housing? Now, I would say this, if the housing is not leaking then right there's no reason to replace it i guess per se but um if there is any signs of leak and that's the original one uh i say go for it guys so yeah um i'm i'm here actually uh, i'm pulling in now i hope she's here she was supposed to be here at a certain time my time is very valuable I, i'm just i'm not gonna do the work my buddy is I sent a lot of work uh, over here. We double team these jobs. If I can't get to it, you would get to it. Think about it. She's uh, in panic mode. Guys, you'd be surprised how much check engine light will put the fear uh, in some people. All right. Yes, the fear. They panic when they see that check engine light. All right. So I'm here. So let me go in here and take care of this small matter, guys. All right, I appreciate y'all watching. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys, y'all remember the, uh, the BMW, right? We had the BMW in here. Oh, this is where we put the engine in. Well, a uh, couple things, little small things, guys. Uh, evap leak, okay? We got a smoke machine over there, but we had to find the evap leak to this thing in uh, P0456, I think it was. Right now, we're about to jump it off and get it out of here because we need this room, guys. We only got two stalls to deal with, so we're gonna get this thing up and running. I know why we got to get it out, because we got more work to do, all right? So, but that doesn't mean we're too busy for you. So if you got something, you know, shoot it on down, man. Snow, Stone Mountain, uh, Snailville area, all right? So let's get this thing fired up. Got to boost it off and let y'all hear how it runs. I hear that? How quiet that is. The BMW, guys. Now y'all remember the, the old car, right? Um, my man, uh, yes, we got this down. The reason he stopped, guys, is we gotta get it. Look how heavy that is. Yeah, we gotta get uh, some more people. The hood gotta come off. All right, it's the only way we're gonna get this baby up. To get this engine out. Now, think about it, guys. Me and him up here right now. Just us two is not enough. So we actually waiting on two more buddies to show up. And uh, we gotta get this hood off so we can get this engine out. But other than that, 
that's where we at right now. Now we get this, uh, the BMW left because like I said on the way over here, we got a, a Dodge Challenger on the way. I'm getting ready to, well he is, I, I got other stuff I need to do. But uh, here's the parts right here guys. We got, I think we spoke about this earlier y'all. Well, fit the adapter housing, all right? So, uh, new parts, actually, brand new parts. Uh, so, waiting on that challenge to get here. Uh, we're gonna put it right here, actually. So, she on the way, so we'll see what happens when she get. That one should be fairly quick, guys. Fairly quick and fairly easy, all right? So, we spoke about some of this stuff out here, right? Already. Yes, we did. Yeah, I remember I told y'all we. Now we did get a call back from this customer right here, guys. Uh, engine is on the way. All right, she don't want to play those games, I guess. And I don't blame her. All right, let's go big or go home. Uh, the guy that's turned out to be a one of those lost calls, guys. Okay, you gamble. When you gamble, when you gamble, you lose, guys. So, I mean, when you gamble, you could lose rather. So. We'll see what happens, guys. All right, stay tuned, guys. I think my challenger customer is here. Let's get it. All right, guys, here we go. She's in. All right, uh, 2015 uh, Dodge Challenger, like I say. We're getting ready to uh, all fit adapter housing. Got nothing to run home about. Remember I told y'all, guys, if you look straight down there, if you need a oil pressure sensor, and you got an oil leak, why not just kill two birds, one stone? Uh, just doing both. All right, now, she just got off the road, so this sucker is fairly hot. We will let it cool down a little bit. And uh, I'm, I'm not gonna film this job. In fact, I'll just put some uh, footage of me replacing one. It's the exact same thing, guys. Whether it's a front wheel drive car or a rear wheel drive car. It's front wheel drive, the engine be sideways. So it's, it's basically the same thing, but no major difference at all. All right, this challenge will look a lot powerful than a V6, don't it? Yes, it do. But at any rate, I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit. My man gonna knock it out. And uh, that'll be that. Like I say, uh, new parts, guys. OEM, all right? That's, that's that. So I'll let this footage play, guys, and I'll get back with y'all. And I'll, I'll call this video a wrap. Thanks for watching.